this doesn't mean that people can run and set up companies and um, there's problems and they go off and uh, they can go and set up another company and it goes oh. bust and they can set up another company. I'm glad you cleared that one up. Um, not Rob there. that you would be doing that at all, but um, there are provisions to stop the rogues out there operated um, through the company to, um, director's disqualification route that if that is happening, um, they will be investigated and pursued. For instance, if you had a company and took credit and you knew the company is going to go bust the next week, um, there's provisions to make um, directors liable for that. But by and large, this limited liability is, is a really good protection overcoat to your personal wealth. The downside is that setting up a company is slightly more complicated, right. slightly more bureaucratic, um, and you probably will need to have an accountant on board to prepare nice statutory accounts that will be placed at Companies House right. and to do corporation tax. Is it worth it? Um, as accountants and advisors, um, we're often asked that question. And unfortunately, what I have to do is turn it back to you, Rob, because at the end of the day, only you really know the business that you're operating. Only you know the risks that you're exposing to. Yeah. And only you can make that decision. But what any accountant can do is take you through the pros and the cons of the two to help you make that decision. I noticed there are a couple of tools on the HMRC website to, to help you decide whether or not you want to be um, a, a limited company or, or a, a, a sole trader uh, and they ask various multiple choice questions which lead you down one or the other path. Um, is that something, have you, are you familiar with those? Is that something you'd recommend that people use in order to... to there are various tools around uh, and I've seen many of them. I think it's too important a decision to be taken using just the tool, so the tool will help you, yeah. but I actually think what you need to do is sit down with probably a trusted friend or colleague and talk about the risk, because normally, nine times out of 10 in my experience, the decision is taken based on the risk appetite and the risk exposure of the business that you're running. Yeah. So talk through it with a family or friend member that runs their own business and, and talk it through with uh, your accountant or advisor. Um, I would say that would be a must. Would, you, would that be for the reason that perhaps somebody else could see you taking a greater risk than you yourself might recognise? Is that the, the uh, that's it in a nutshell. Right. Um, because quite often individuals, when they set up a, their own business, are so tied up in they're too close to it, mm. and uh, the contact business advisor accountant can just help you reflect back and say, "Have you thought about this? Mm. Have you thought about that?" And I often, those will just be resolved with, yes, I've got it covered. But now and again, you'll think, ah. And it's that, that ah moment that we're waiting for. Well, I think you've answered my questions, and I think I know which path I'm going to uh, wander off down now. Uh, but thanks very much for all your help, Alan. Thanks very much, and all the best with your business. Thanks a lot. Cheers.